I think the last time was, like we were talking the other night, I think it was uh, the Utah game, 34-31. was the last time we were here. It was me and my dad, we sat up here. Yeah, it's not a, like uh, getting back up here. There's not a there's not a bad view in the stadium here. No, no. Yeah, I still remember sitting up there watching a bunch of games. Yeah, I just always dreamed about being on that field one day, and then that opportunity was able to come. And uh, you know, 2005 is when I started playing here, and then finished in 2007. We had a rule that someone had to start a fight every day in practice, and Kelly, he was kind of the captain, and he made sure that rule was uh, fulfilled. I was on some really good teams in 2006 and 2007 that both years won 11-2, won Mountain West Conference championships. I was able to start my senior year, lead the team in tackles, uh, be a team captain, which was awesome to be honored by my teammates to be selected for that. This is just BYU, but I, but most of it, I think, I think most of the bulk is the articles. So I went off and played in the NFL for a year after my senior year and uh, bounced around for a whole year. Started with the, the Dolphins, then went to the Rams, then went to the Cardinals, and then had a little stint right at the end with the Seahawks. It was really impressive to me to watch him, even though things weren't going the way that he necessarily wanted, he still continued to work hard. I'll never forget those nights down at the park <laughs> by my parents' house, watching him run drills by himself. Nobody there except for me. You know, he had to just figure out what it was that he needed to do to make sure he was staying fit and to hopefully make another team. I think most of you have heard the NFL stands, stands for not for long. And so uh, if you get in the NFL, which all of these players want to do, it's great. But we've been through that experience with our sons. It doesn't last long. It's only the very few exceptional athletes are going to make a long career and make a ton of money. So you're going to have to learn a profession, a skill level that you can take with you in your professional life to raise a family and be a good husband. He works so hard for what he wants as his personal goals, but also to be able to support his family. And at that time, that was the way he was trying to support his family, which was he and I, and that's just Kelly. 100% everything that he does and always tries to do his best. He doesn't just do things halfway. He wants to do whatever job it is that he's doing. He wants to do it the best that he possibly can. And after I, you know, I learned a ton in that time frame and really didn't know that I wanted to be a coach. I was getting my master's my senior year in exercise science, I wanted to be a strength and conditioning coach. I thought I was gonna do something with that. And so when I got done and finally was like, okay, the NFL thing's not working out, there's a graduate assistant spot that was open to coach football. And so I told Bronco, I really don't wanna coach football, I wanna get in strength and conditioning. Well, he said, hey, I think you could be really good at it. Just try it out. If you like it, obviously continue doing it. But if not, then you can always go back to be a strength and conditioning coach. The thing that stood out the most is when I got the head coaching job, um, Kelly had left with Bronco to Virginia, and his players love him. I heard all the guys on the defense and, and just kept talking about how, I mean, they, they just kept talking about him so much that I'm like, hmm, maybe these guys uh, are, are telling me something that I need to think about. And I didn't have the ability to keep him back then, and how it worked out, it's just really good to have him back with us. His heart is on that field, right, as a player. And as a player, when your heart is on the field and then you come back and you contribute again to the school that's your alma mater, you've almost kind of uh, double contributed. So now his coaching heart is on the field. So to have both of that on there is very special. The guy works his butt off. And that's usually something you only see out of people who are really trying to challenge themselves, right? Like guys that are not high achievers and not shooting for being at their best don't get up at five o'clock in the morning to come get their workout in. So where most of us use our lunch break to work out, he can use it to recruit and to do more work, right? This is my best friend right here, my, my dog, this is my dog. Okay, so in the words of Jess Sims, this is her, this is not me. She says, how you do anything is how you do everything. And I think that's so true. Things in life are hard. We all have hard things. You can either just quit and say I'm done, or you can continue to persevere and work hard and get through those things. I think that's something my wife and I have both, you know, found out as we moved from here to Virginia. 
right? That was uncomfortable. That was really uncomfortable moving across the country to a place we'd never been um, in a community that we didn't know many people. Shoot, we were in uncomfortable situations a lot. And that's honestly, those six years that we were out there, that was probably the time that we grew the most, not just as a couple, but as probably individuals as well. And so I just think that's just, in my opinion, the best way to grow in life is just put yourself in uncomfortable positions. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on in this job. It's not just, it's not just what happens here. Um, there's a lot that happens, um, shoot, academically, socially, um, spiritually. And so it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. very busy job. One of Kelly's famous co comments, I'll ask him, Kelly, you know, we're on vacation. We're going down the river or something like that. He gets a text and says, what's going on? He says, Dad, it never ends. <laughs> it never ends. Yeah. But hey, he uh, he knows that and he's committed to it and uh, it's a part of his life. And, we're, we're happy for him.